Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over how to set up your Flowdesk account. And so as you can see on my screen, when you sign into your Flowdesk account in the upper right hand corner is going to give you the options that you need here in this circle, the drop down menu will give you those options to go ahead and get set up with the overview, the email setup, and we will go through all of these details. So I will go over into my account so you can see this. On the left-hand side, you can see all of those options. We're gonna go ahead and start with the overview. So this is your account details. This is the email that you use to set up your account. As you scroll down, you can see here the time zone that you can set um, so that your emails, when you send them, are coming right from your time zone. And this is where you can actually change your password. Now let's take a look at email setup. So here um, is where you're gonna have your sending addresses. And these are the names of email addresses your emails will send from. You may add up to two senders at a time. So as you can see here, I've got this primary one that has been verified, but for purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna add a new sender and I am going to use my other email address that I use for my other businesses. And so I'm going to put in Melanie Ships, um, melanie.ships at gmail.com. And I can go ahead and save that. And when you do this, you will see here on the screen that it is awaiting verification. So what you will do is go into your inbox over in your Gmail account and you can verify that email address. Once you do, you will be all ready to go. All right, so the next one on the list here is for checkout setup. Now, if you have checkout as part of your um, services that you've subscribed to, this is where you can actually go and sell things through your Flowdesk account. Then this is where you would go and set up your Stripe account. And this is where you will be able to accept payments with Flowdesk checkout, okay? And a little bit more about those terms and conditions. Now, let's talk about the domain setup. The domain verification is just making sure that you're authenticating your domain so that it increases your deliverability and reduces spam by telling your email subscribers like Gmail or Outlook that the emails that you're sending are really from you. So this is a process that you can go through. There is a little bit more information that you can find in the help desk. Now I'm gonna hop over there real quick, just so I can show you exactly where you can find that help desk. It's been really helpful for me as I've set up my account and then I will bring it to your awareness so you know where to find it. So you can go to flowdesk.com. In the very bottom of the screen in the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see help center. So when you click on this, it's gonna take you to this next screen. And this is where you can go to learn all about how to set up your account settings, anything about your emails, from choosing a template to customizing and sending your email. This is where you can find more about the forms to set up your opt-in forms and your workflows to automate your campaigns. This is gonna talk about your audience managing your subscribers. This will talk about your segments and tags. So everything you need to know about organizing your subscribers. And then of course, you wanna organize your content through your folders and any other frequently asked questions or accessibility questions that you would have. The affiliate, affiliate program is here and just get in touch. So the uh, customer service has been really incredible with Flowdesk, but I just want to make sure you're aware that this help desk section is available to you for any type of information that you're going to need um, to set up your account. So for account settings, like I said, you can sign up for that Flowdesk account and go through this section, um, how to troubleshoot your domain verification, which is exactly where we are in this tutorial at this section. All right. Now let's talk about branding. When you are setting up your emails, you're going to have some options in your email templates that are going to allow you to use your logo and some brand colors. And so it's here in your account setup that you can create that. Here with the logo, your logo will automatically display in your emails, which makes it so nice and so simple. Um, you simply can just click the button here to add your logo, or you can replace that logo at any time. The files that are supported is a, a PNG file, a JPEG, or a GIF. And then your brand colors, very, very simple. Um, you can select any colors up to five and all you do is you, you enter your hex code of that color so that when you go to create your emails, you can go right in here to select those brand colors and you can see that uniform design throughout. Here on company details, you can add your company name. You can actually add the website associated to your company name so that anytime someone clicks on your logo, it will automatically link them to this web address. 
Now your company address is something that you need to have in here. You can enter that just to make sure that you are compliant with your emails. And so you'll simply enter the information in and that will show up at the bottom of your emails just to make sure that the email subscriber, when they do receive your emails, uh, it does look legit. So they know that you're not somebody that's trying to spam them, that you truly are a legit person. Now, the social links allows your emails to automatically link to these URLs. So some examples could include Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, Tumblr, you've got um, Vimeo, you could do uh, if you have like a podcast or Spotify music, there's a lot of different options, but simply adding those is a simple click of the button, adding your link and then hitting save. Now, at the very bottom of your emails, when you send those, this footer automatically links to your unique referral signup so that you get cash for anyone who signs up through your emails and check out. So if you don't want that to be on your emails, when you send them, you can simply click off. Okay. Now, next is your opt-in setup. So when someone goes in to click on your opt-in for your lead magnet or your freebie that you're giving away they will get this message on the screen. Now there is an option when you're setting up your emails and they go out and you will see this detail. It's super, super simple is that you can allow a double opt-in. And if you choose that, when you are sending out your email, this is the message that will show up on the screen just to tell your subscribers that they're one click away from being added to the list. Also, you can set up the thank you page. So this is a page that will display to new describers after they've confirmed their email address via the double opt-in. Okay, and as far as preferences pages, uh, anytime you have a subscriber that might want to unsubscribe from your email list, this is a screen that will pop up that will display to your subscribers when they can click manage preferences in your email footer. Now, integrations. Integrations are wonderful because I think that being able to pull in your Instagram feed at the very bottom of your email templates is really nice. It's a live feed. So for example, if I go here to click and connect my Instagram, I can actually select uh, my Instagram page for Cast Creative and I can just click allow. And then I will be directed over to Instagram and it'll allow you to uh, sign in. And once you sign in, then it will connect that Instagram. Now you can also do this for Shopify. So you can connect a shop to your emails, which is really nice. So if you want to sell things, you can do that. And then Zapier um, allows you to connect your Flowdesk account to thousands of other favorite apps. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, again, you can go ahead and check out how to do this in the help desk section of Flowdesk. You also have over here on the left-hand side, your plan and billing. So that's how you can manage your billing information. And then also you can share your Flowdesk link and you can actually give 50% off to anybody that uses your affiliate link. And anytime they do that, you can actually get um, a commission on that. So something you might wanna take a look at if you feel like you wanna share your Flowdesk account. So that is the quick tutorial here today. Um, once you get in and get that all set up, you are ready to go. So happy setup. And uh, if you have any other questions, like I said, go over to the help desk of Flowdesk and there's more details there.